That's right, baby. Yeah, okay. We're going to get into Aaron Rodgers. Um, this is something that uh, the Brian man, uh, he, he actually sent to me. Um, we'll, we'll give our teams, and if we have different teams that we think that he should go to, um, then we'll put, a, we'll put a little Twitter poll up and see what uh, everybody else thinks. Um, but I, I'm, I don't know. For me, I really feel like there's only one place that's like a true fit. Uh, so let, me, let's me too, actually. So let, let's let's well, let's say it at the same time. All right, this could be a short conversation. Let, let's say it at the same time. See if this is where you think he should go. So right. is it going to be on three or after three? One, two, three, <laughs> go. Okay. All right. Yeah. One, two, three, Broncos. Broncos. Yeah, it is the absolute number one fit. Um, and might be the only one. And that's like. This is like another Hall of Fame quarterback going there. I shouldn't say that. It's not the only one. At the end of it's... his prime. But he's still much more. I mean, I can't say because Peyton Manning didn't have like a horrible career there. How you doing, man? Why are you? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello. Um, he didn't have a horrible career there. He had some. He had a he had a big he had a big year. Right. He had one big year there. Right. Yeah, I think, he, yeah, he won an MVP, he put up um, monster numbers. And, and, and I mean, you his, know. And then his body what, just fell apart. Um, well, by the time he won the Super Bowl, it was the defense that carried them. Right. But, he, he, but his body that, fell apart. But he was he was, he was was a game manager at that point. But right. again, the team was so good, he didn't have to be right. great. And, and his that, arm his arm was. And was this is where it's point. a little different for Aaron Rodgers, is that Aaron Rodgers still has another three years easy of uh, yeah. elite status. Yeah. Uh, in my opinion, anyway. So I think so. I think that uh, Aaron Rodgers going to the Broncos would be a great fit. I think he has some people to throw to. I think he has a decent defense. It's not like prime, like when Peyton was there, but he's good enough to be able to get. And I think if they get someone like him, you'd see some. Oh, that would elevate that team too. I think you'd see some acquisitions because they're not like Green Bay, where they're not going to go out and try and get people. They'll try and get some people and really make sure that they can make a Super Bowl run. Because if you go and get Aaron Rodgers, you're not like just trying to cater to fans, like to bring people to the to the stadium. Yeah. You're trying to win. Yeah. So I, I think that the Broncos is the best fit. I think that would be good um, for just the league in general. Um, I think that the Broncos hadn't had much shine. You know, you have Elway as one of the people over there that's uh, kind of in command. Um, and this would be a, a, a big deal. I feel like the Broncos would do um, very good by themselves, by, the, by their fans, by getting somebody like this. Now, I don't know if they'll be able to make this happen, but uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Yeah, it's, um, it's a good fit for a number of reasons. I mean, again, if you just look at the quarterback situation there, it's Drew Locke and Teddy Bridgewater, who I assume are neither one of them is guaranteed anything. They're both going to be fighting it out to be the starter there. Mm. Um, if you look I, I behind, think Teddy Bridgewater's getting it. I think he's going to. Well, I don't think you bring in a guy like that to. I mean, I would say he's the favorite, but I wouldn't. I I guarantee you, from a coaching perspective, they're going to call it an open competition. Um, but if you look at the situation around him too. Running back situation is very good. You got Melvin Gordon. You just drafted Javante Williams. Um, you have Cortland Sutton and Jerry Judy mm-hmm. from receivers. You have Noah Fant at tight end. Um, With Noah Fant I, is I, underrated, I think. I, I think he, I, he could he could put up a good, a really good year. I also yes, well, he's the kind of guy that Aaron Rodgers would make right. you know immensely really improve his game. I'm sure. Uh, I think also. To your point, you got to remember there's going to be a lot of cuts coming too. So you're going to have targets, receivers, other tight ends. You're going to have guys available soon who the Broncos could probably jump on. I don't know what their salary cap situation is, but you know it's kind of a give and take. I mean, they're going to cut some guys. They'll be able to pick up some guys. If they can make this trade, I would assume the starting point for this conversation is three first round draft picks. I mean, I don't know how it couldn't be. It, mm-hmm. It's got to be 22, 23 and 24 right off the bat. In addition to the fact that you, I mean, I don't even know that the Packers would want one of those quarterbacks. Probably not. Cause I would just think they would elevate Jordan love unless they would want like 
Drew Locke to be a backup or something like that. But right. but Jordan Love's going to be their guy. Um, but I, you know, I will tell you this though. If you look at that Packers roster without Aaron Rodgers, it's suddenly not as impressive. It's just, it's just not suddenly the threat. Not impressive. Well, I mean, I think, I think that's we kind of we've kind of known that. Like, it's and that's just, the reason it's, why. Right? It's just not the threat that it would be with him. I, I, I mean, no offense, no, no disrespect to Jordan Love, but. I mean, you haven't done anything. You've just were, you were, well, you know, I mean, first round pick a year ago. You're, you're, it's like, sorry, if you, take, you, if you took, if you took Drew Brees out of, you know, New Orleans in his prime, you know, like that's in his prime. I'm not so sure that there'll be a huge drop off for the saints this year. Cause Drew Brees was at the end of, of, of yeah. his, of his run last like year. And I actually, of, like, it's like the, you know, almost like Peyton with the Broncos. He won, but like he, he was not, yeah. he was a shell. In New Orleans, I think actually Sean Payton might be able to fix Jameis Winston and fix his interception issues. Because if he can do that and cut, I mean, just cut his interceptions in half. Which, it, by the way, it's not it shouldn't all about be hard his, to go. It, the interception issues isn't the problem with him. It's, it's the six inches between his ears. Sure, That's sure, the problem. of course. But I think Sean Payton might be the right guy to he, he might alleviate some of that. Right. Um, as, yeah, but listen, as far as Aaron Rodgers goes, it's the Bronco. It's it's the Broncos are bust. I would think. Um, and if he. I'm not, listen, I know he loves Jeopardy. I know that that is probably his dream job post retirement, but I just don't think when you are at the skill level that he is at, that you walk away from this game. I'm not saying it's impossible. He could because, you know, let's be honest. Um, he's, he doesn't really have a lot to prove. The man's won three MVPs. He has won a Super Bowl. I, I always just thought, though, that he would want to finish in Green Bay to get a second championship there to make sure he separated himself from guys like Favre and even from Bart Starr, although Bart Starr won a couple. But I would just uh, – Favre, though, more specifically. I really thought he wanted to separate himself from Brett Favre. But now I'm going to say this again. If he leaves, if he goes, if he forces his way out and he doesn't have another championship there – Mm-hmm. In my opinion, in Green Bay, Brett Favre is the bigger legend, in my opinion. Hmm. And uh, he didn't win the MVPs that Rodgers has, uh, but I believe his legacy will be stronger. And he'll, he might be a bit more beloved than Rodgers, you know, because the one thing that Brett Favre did have that Aaron Rodgers does not is charisma and personality. Uh, Aaron Rodgers is just... Uh... I don't know. His commercials are pretty funny. Like, I don't know. He's, I'm not, yes, he's he's marketable. I'm he's not saying that. He's also a good looking guy. He's so a quirky, I don't know about that. He's a quirky guy. He's a decent looking guy. He's a, they wouldn't put him is. on Jeopardy as a host if he wasn't decent looking. I mean, Alex Trebek had a, had a look. He had a look. He's got a look. Let's put it that way. Aaron yeah. Rodgers has a uh, look that's marketable. Yeah. Well, I mean, he's not I mean, a supermodel. If, but, if he wasn't a top tier quarterback in the NFL for years. He wouldn't be str- going down any runways. I don't know. He's, I, I, don't he's, know. I don't really, really want to talk about his looks. Looking, but... He's above yeah, average okay. looking. Okay, but I think he's got a quirky enough personality that makes him intriguing. Yeah, he does. he's a does. smart he's, dude. He's mysterious. And he's a smart dude. He's a smart dude. That's that's also an opinion. Yeah, he's... I don't know how smart he is right now. I mean, I just... No, no, no. This I, is how I don't he's know. always played it. He's always no, no. been very passive aggressive. That's his mantra. That's what he does. And it's fine. I realize that. But, but you also here's the thing that you have to understand, though. If he does force his way out of Green Bay and let's say he, to, to Denver. Yeah. Maybe he lands in a situation where there's enough talent there for him to win. To win a Super Bowl, I don't know. Here's the problem. OK, great. You forced yourself out of Green Bay. And you've now put yourself in a position in Denver where you do have talent around you that maybe can win. I don't know that that talent though is any bit is is any more superior than what you have in Green Bay. Right. And here's the problem: in return for your services, you are now losing your next three years worth of first round picks, players that could potentially help Aaron Rodgers win a Super Bowl. And if Aaron Rodgers only has three years left, well, what good are those picks with the Packers? Mm-hmm. They're not going to help you in Denver. So it's like. If you're going to make that decision and, and you're going to force that trade and you go there, you better win. Mm-hmm. Better win. And it's not going to be easy because you're going to be – your best picks that you're going to have are second rounders. 
It's crazy. You better hit. You better hit on those picks if you're the Broncos. Yeah. So I, I posted I posted a, a, a little poll on, um, on Twitter. Um, and I said, where do you think Aaron Rodgers goes this offseason? Uh, I put Broncos, Packers, Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Or some other team. Um, and granted, if he decides to go to Jeopardy, he can do both. He can do Jeopardy and so. He but, can. But do you think that's that's an actual possibility for him this year? Um, you know, so let, let, I, I put it out there. Uh, feel here's, free to, if there's some other team that you want to put in the comments, go ahead and put it in the comments. Here's the one thing I would say. say. Here's the one thing I will say. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't think he's going to be a Packer. Hmm. I mean, unless unless we unless we are you know calling this bluff. I believe him. I, I I mean, the word out of there is that he wants nothing to do with this organization. Right. So I, I don't know. I'm, And I'm not buying the – listen, again, with Jeopardy, he can do both, like yeah. you said. So Jeopardy could technically be a right answer, but he might be able to pull both off. And by the way, how much would the people at Jeopardy love that, right? Like not only do you have a host that you like – but you also have a guy with great cachet who's still currently in the NFL and dominating the position. It'd I mean, it, what a, for the, it'd be great what for a Jeopardy. boon for Jeopardy. Do you think that they would dumb down the questions a little bit? No, of course not. I don't think. No, why? They wouldn't change anything about their. They wouldn't change anything about if you're, their. If you're their, trying to appeal to a bigger audience. No, absolutely not. People, people wouldn't care. They would just want to see him. They just want to see him host. They wouldn't give a shit. I think, I think you get bored. If, no, I don't think so. I, I I don't think I don't think Jeopardy would compromise their format in any way for a host. I just don't. I don't know. I'd no, be looking for no celebrity Jeopardy for sure. Also, um, that would be a little bit of a slap in the face to Aaron Rodgers. Well, you're an athlete, so we're going to dumb down our no, questions. It's not that. It's it's not that you're an athlete. It's that our new audience. That's an insult to the audience too. It is. I don't think so. It is, but I don't think they would. No. I do not believe they'd compromise. I don't think they would that. say they would do that. Yeah, but you'd know. I mean, you'd start to know if some of the questions were like, you know, the hundred dollar question and like, you know, who wants to be a millionaire? <laughs> if they got to like that level, I think you don't. I think you'd be like, wait a minute, something not something not right here. I don't know if you saw my shirt, my new shirt. I did actually. It's really awesome. That's awesome. BB Dairy, man. It's like, uh, good stuff. stuff. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not exactly wearing vintage today, but I do have a, a, a my Ooh. authentic Phillies Bryce Harper jersey. Ah, Harper. Yeah. Yeah. He's a. Uh... He's not your guy, but. No, I mean, hey. I don't particularly love some of the stuff that he says. I think he's a tremendous athlete. He I, is. I think he is a bit overrated. But. When he has a good year, it's it's different. He just can't seem to put good year after good year after good year after good year up. I love you know? his swing. I love his swing. It's violent. It's too violent. That's the problem. Was, I know. know. I just love it, though. It's Because like, when he hits one out, you know it. I mean, that shit's majestic. Well, yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, he swings hard. And I just, I love lefty hitters. I just love left-handers. Well, I am left-handed, so. But I just, I love, I love the way the ball comes off the bat of a left-handed hitter. It's just so pure. Yeah. And when you, when a left-hander connects with a home, especially like in Yankee stadium too, where the porch is short and every home run looks majestic. If you're going to right field, I mean, it's just, you know, and I've seen Harper hit some bobs in Yankee stadium too. Serge. Serge is here. Serge. Yeah. I played golf with him uh, last week. Oh, did you? Yeah. I'm sure. He was better than me. Uh, I thought that uh, would take a, much. Little bit, a little bit. I, I'd <laughs> yeah. say probably about like 10, 15 strokes. That's a, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's you shot about 120, right? Yeah. 121. Yeah. Yeah. He, sh- he was, <laughs> I think 107. <clears throat> he, he was, so yeah. Serge was, you know, I like to, we like to, you know, kind of just throw some little digs here and there at each other, but like really just, it's more just there in humor. And t- it was like, I don't know. It was like whole like 15 or something like that. And Serge was running on fumes. I could tell. I could tell he was running was on he? fumes. And yeah. I, I, he, he hit a ball and like completely fatted it. And I said something a little like kind of like a little cheeky. And uh, he was kind of like, Ugh. and he's never like, that. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's usually like kind of like always laughing. He was uh, at that point of the round, he was kind of like, you know, if these clubs, if I had extras, I might snap one in half. Did you throw one? <laughs> yeah. How would you describe my demeanor on the golf course? 
you're fine. Happy go lucky. You know, you're just kind of out there. I just embraced the suck. So you just yeah, you were just having a good time. You know. Yeah, Nothing. I was. The um, only thing that would have made that better would have been like a, c- a cigar and a beer. I, I think really... like I think like when you're, you just kind of like, get to the point where you like you hit it and you're kind of like you just like walk right after it like we're like I'm just gonna hit it again. <laughs> yeah, fuck like, it. Yeah, like it's not even. I got a, a little bit of Happy Gilmore in me. Yeah, a little bit, but like, <laughs> but not kind of like yeah, like just kind of just keep going. Just like all right, whatever. Right. This is, this is not going well. It's not going. It's not to going go well. well. Right. Right. Uh, so therefore, if I ever, if I ever could put together just like a consistent round, you would probably see a very different side of me where I would be really locked in. Well, I remember, but, remember when know. we, we played in that league, we played that match, uh, when the, we were at tournament? HAI. Yeah. Yeah. A long mm-hmm. time ago. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. won the tournament. We won that tournament. Yep. And you know, we were all fired up. Like, I mean, we yeah, were like, oh, yeah. we were like, like, Ma, we gotta make this button. We were like all intense yeah. and like we'd make it and be like, Yeah like on yeah, every hole. Yeah, yeah like, no, I know. Was that was great. That was a fun tournament. Fun. I, I had the lowest net score. I was yes. but, yeah, that was I was I good... didn't contribute much. I know that we took a couple of my putts yeah. and I think one of my par three drives I think we took. I don't I don't remember it so that well. I wasn't I just that remember, bad. I just then, remember though. the foot joy shoes that I walked into the clubhouse and got because of the yeah. money I won. Which is I just remember between you and and Mark and um the other guy, his friend there, we had some we had some bangers off the tee. <laughs> we had some guys who could put the ball two fifty. Yeah. Plus. Was, yeah, yeah. It was it was good. It's good stuff. Yeah. It's good stuff. I was a uh, it was a fun fun round for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Um. All right. So let's get into touch touched on that so far. Well, this would be a good segue into golf. <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean, we can, we can get into that. But, I mean, we got to talk Tebow real quick, too. So oh, right yes, now, yes, yes, Tebow, yeah. As of right now, the you can't really see it that well uh, on the screen. Yeah. But um, 12 votes in, 50% say Broncos, 50% say Packers. Okay. So no, I think that's I think it's a coin I think it's a coin toss. That's a yeah, good. I, I would say that that's pretty. Close. I think that's a good read. All right. Um, you so also have a poll into, on Tebow. Let's see any any other more. So let's get into Tebow now, real quick. Tim Tebow, do you think Tim Tebow getting an invite to the Jags camp is a big deal? Uh, I had yes and no. That was it. Just yes and yeah. no. So far, seven votes. Majority is no. So yeah, I had saw. That's I, where I voted. I, I, I voted saw, no. I saw a, a, a Yahoo post. They had this big thing. You open up Yahoo. You're a Yahoo. first thing on there. <laughs> and then first thing on there was. Fans and people, you know, in outrage because Tim Tebow signs with Jack or like gets invited to the camp of Jags. I'm like, why? Why? Why is this even why shocking? Are you, why are you angry about this at all? Like, I know. first of weird. all, this is where he should have been originally. Second of all, it's not like they signed him to a $10 million deal. He's they a, invited him to camp. A non-roster invitee. <laughs> And if he could be looking to make the team. Yeah. And if he plays well, if he does end up doing well, good. You're going to get him cheap. Like, yeah, there, I, I read something that said, you know how many touchdowns their tight ends had last year? Oh, if I had to get I mean, their tight end situation is bad. If I had to guess, it would be under five. Two. <laughs> that's bad. Two touchdowns. That's not, tight end. that's not good. You think you might yeah. need some help at t- a tight end? Listen, the guy, obviously the guy's never played the position. He is still regard because he's still, I mean, he's in his thirties now, but he's still an athlete. Yeah. He's still an amazing athlete. I will tell you that I still believe he's the best college football player I've ever seen. I mean, he certainly not from a, uh, a skill set perspective, but the combination of, his the skill that he did have and his will to win mm-hmm. was is just incredible. I mean, sure. if 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 Tony Robbins ever goes away, Tim Tebow could be your next great motivational speaker. I mean, he's just a he's a he's a winner and a champion in every way. Here's the thing that I I just I just didn't get the shock and awe right because the coach is Urban Meyer. <laughs> Why would it shock you that Urban Meyer would bring Tim Tebow in? Why would that shock anybody? It does. Just 
Uh, maybe maybe you like forget about that initially when you're like, wait a minute, why is anybody bringing Tim Tebow in? Oh, oh wait, Urban Meyer was his college coach at Florida. Yeah, mm-hmm. he won national championships with the guy. Yeah, okay, I, I, you're right. That 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 tracks. <laughs> it's yeah. not it's not really. I don't understand the big deal. And also, I, I know you and I have talked about this before. Tim Tebow is one of the few guys who. His listen, we know he's a man of faith, Mm -hmm. but to me, he's one of the few guys who expresses that faith, and I genuinely believe it. And it's just not, it just doesn't feel forced. It just, this is just the life he lives. Yeah. It's just that is, he is a, he is a man of devout faith, and he lives his life that way. That way. And he does, yes, it feels genuine. It has always felt genuine to me from the beginning, you know? Mm -hmm. Um, and, and he's always been consistent about it. Like he's never wavered off of it. He's never been pressured off of it. And I, I like that about him. Um, I wish I was as strong in my, my faith as he is in his and, and we're of the same faith. So I, I don't, I don't have the devotion that he does. I mean, I, you know, I pray every day and you know, all that kind of stuff, but that, I mean, that guy like lives it, lives it, you know, and good for him. And, uh, he's like I said, it's always felt organic and natural to me, not forced. So, I mean, if that is the thing about him that bothers you, I, I don't really know what to say to you. That's a that's a you thing, not a him thing.